Hello everyone, this is Neil from Merch Informer here. Today I want to do a video on our Merch Informer products designer and how you can actually add a background to your pop sockets to make sure that when you're uploading them, they don't have a transparent background and they look great with any design that you're doing. So when you're logged into the designer here, uh, you get to this by logging into Merch Informer at merchinformer.com and in the upper right hand corner clicking on the designer. Once you logged in here, you're going to have three choices for a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a pop socket. And since you want to design a pop socket, we're just going to select that and you will see the template on your screen. Now the first thing you're going to see is all these colors over here. I think what a lot of people are getting confused by are these right here are just mock-ups. These are not the background color that's going to download after you've created a design. So create it as white from now and I'm just going to shove in some clip art here. How about this lion? We'll resize that, make sure it's within the dimensions here. Now, if you're wondering where this little line in the middle of the screen is coming from, you can actually turn that on by in the right hand corner clicking transformations, or sorry, rather the right hand corner when nothing is selected and turning auto snap on. Now, once you have this, let's say you want to put this on a colored background and you're really not sure how to do that because you can come here and change this, but that's not going to add a background when you download the file. So the easiest way to do this is to come over here to shapes in the left hand menu, select any shape you want. I'm going to pick a square and just make it as big as the design element itself. So now you can't see the design, but this is going to be your background color. So if you want to change this color in up here in the left hand corner, you just click this and you can change this color to really anything you want in the color picker. So purple, now you have a purple background, but you can't see the design. So what you need to do is in the left hand menu, select layers. Now you see there's a square layer and there's a lion layer. All you need to do is move the square layer behind the lion layer and all of a sudden your line is on top and when you download this file it's going to have that purple background. Now something that I have noticed people asking for and wondering is, hey, how do I pick different colors? I know you have this color picker here. If you click this, let's see. But what if you want to match a color on your actual design? How on earth do you do that to get this hex color? So what I've done is if you go to the, if you're using Google Chrome, which you should because that's how this tool was developed. If you head over and you grab this extension, it's called Eyedropper. It's got all, a ton of downloads. Add it to Chrome. And as you'll see, it's up here in the right hand corner called Eyedropper. Now, the way this works is let's say, let me select the square here and move this back. So let's say you want to, sorry about that. Let's say you want to match this color. So you simply come up here to the eyedropper, click that. You want to pick a color from a web page, and you just have a little box that you can hover around. Now click in the middle of his head, and then nothing happens, right? But if you go back up and click the eyedropper again, it selected the color for you right here. This is the hex code that you want. So if you copy that, you select the square in the background, change the color, and just paste in the hex code, now you have the background exactly the same color as is in the clip art or whatever you're designing. And then you can go ahead and just download that. And here is your design that you can then upload to Merch by Amazon. So that is the this most simple way I know of to add a background to the PopSock designer inside of Merch Informer. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them below. Like this video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.